Here we are, here we are, here, the John Wall Holiday Invitational. Day three underway. We got a great slate on deck. Miles Master Cola, Rod Bridges on the call. Showcase game here, NCGBB getting ready to take on Brewster Academy. And, and I'm going to be honest, Rod, like Brewster, they, they haven't had the kind of showing they want. No, absolutely. Um, you know, I think with Coach Smith, you know, uh, you know, having two two highly ranked guys on your team, you know, you came to this event, they expect to put on a good show. Uh, what you want to do is just finish the week strong here. You're playing against a good, a very good, good, better, best team who's hungry, who, who's worked hard for this opportunity, and we're, we're glad that they're doing this event. Here, call Coach Pat Cole is one of the best coaches in the state. We love him, mm -hmm. up and coming. So this is going to be a good game between two good teams. It is, and, and we talked about it yesterday. We are like, we hope that Brewster came out pissed off. You know, you know, losing to the Burlington School is a team that, you know, Ryan Bernardi and that group, they had a really talented bunch, but Brewster's got Matas Brazellos, Taylor Bull Bowen, uh, Big Reed, the, both Reeds, Reed uh, Ducharme, uh, and, uh, and Reed Bailey, who's going to Davidson. You know, they, they just needed more, and they didn't get it. Word of God took care of business with them last night, and GBB, like, you know, they're on the they, – Pat said, we're, we're so close to getting that signature win. I just need our guys to break through. Um, yeah. and, and this is a golden opportunity for them, but, but we'll see how it shakes out as the lineups are announced. we got an unbelievable slate of games. After this, uh, JL Chambers taking on Virginia Episcopal. Episcopal gave Combine a run for their money yesterday. And then at 4 o'clock, we got uh, – Archbishop Spalding versus the Burlington School in a semifinal matchup in the Devontae Graham bracket. At 5.30, a semifinal in the TJ Warren bracket. Spicy one. Word of God. Combine. Oh, man, that's going to be good. I know both teams are coming in you know, with a chip on their shoulder ready to compete. 7 o'clock, SoCal Academy, Moravian Prep. That's going to be bonkers yes. in here. The antics will be through the roof. And then at, uh, at 8.30, the nightcap, Hansel Emanuel and Life Christian take on Farmville Central and what's going to be another one full of fireworks. So a great slate of games on deck today. Shout out to young Dave for holding it down. I think he's going to do the next game with Simmons. Yep. Um, and then, uh, but me and Rod are here for this one. Rod, what are your expectations for this game? Uh, man, I, I, I've been expected to be up and down. One thing about uh, is Pat Cole coach teams, they're going to play hard. They're going to compete. They, they scrap. Um, and they're not scared of Brewster. Uh, you know, a lot of times people get named, scared of the name in front of the jerseys, but so a team like Pat Cole, we, we saw them over the summer. They've knocked off many, many big-time teams, so this is another test for them. I hope we see Brewster come out with a chip on their shoulder today. Haven't really seen it yet, but you know they got to come out and be ready to play. they got to come out and be ready to play. So tip-off about to start. Starting lineups for each team. DeSante Bowen, Taylor Bold Bowen, Reed Bailey, Reed Ducharme, and Matas Bazellas. For Brewster and for NCGBB, it's Jaquel Powell, Caden Bell, Broderick Ellis, Lorian Walker, and Taishiki Musaka in the front court. So we'll see how it shakes out right here. Keon put off the bench? Or? Yeah, Keon's been the sixth man. He's playing a lot, probably playing, you know, 20 minutes a night. Um, but they're bringing him off the bench and kind of have him steady things down. Um, so, yeah, but no, he's, he's kind of that sixth starter for them. Interesting. That's how it was down in Rock Hill, too. Yeah? Yeah. I'm going to restart it, set that clock back to 8, or just leave it at 7.59, I don't know. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> Here is Sante Bowen. I could have called B dot, bro. <laughs> I think it's only for like one or two games. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here is Buzelis. Working around to Sante Bowen. He'll launch the three. No good. It rattles out. Rebound. Battled for. Secured by Jaquel Powell. Here he comes. He's taking a big step over the last couple months with his GBB team. Here's Caden Bell. Driving. Attacking. Goes up in the finish. No. Rebound Buzelis, and he'll bring it up. Six foot ten. Matas Buzelis pushing the basketball. Almost lost control of it. Ducharme had it. He's a sniper. See what he's got in his bag of tricks. And here comes Desante Bowen. With Brazil, as you see, the talent, the skill set is there. The biggest thing for him, off the top of your head, is, is the strength. He's got to be stronger with the ball. 1,000%. Because there aren't, you don't see 6'10 guys that move like that. Yes. At all. Um, and I think adding that strength is going to help him tremendously. Still a junior. The ceiling is very high, but he's still got a ways to go. I think that one thing, adding strength, is going to, like, really change it for him. Puts in the mind of a young Mike Dunleavy Jr. That's kind of like that, that, that mold. I'm not saying he's that good. Mike Dunleavy was a problem. Not saying he isn't, but this mm -hmm. is what you Big, skilled wing. Yeah. yeah, he can shoot it, so. Mm -hmm. 
good athlete too. Yes. Here is DeSante Bowen over to Taylor Bowl Bowen. Taylor Bowl gives it up to Ducharme. He thought about it. A little DHO set here. A little three man. Oh, Buzelis all the way around. Goes up and doesn't get Listen, the bucket. Just like we yeah. Like there aren't six ten guys that really can do that. Yeah. As you know, coming off a DHO and split it with a with a behind the back. Seamlessly draws the foul. He'll have two free throws. Try to add to the early lead. That one is up and good. Rebound there, Musaka. Does he have it? No. Yes, he does. And now it's Jaquel Powell with it. Wow. Try to take him. Try to take out Simmons in, in baby tech fit. <laughs> He's talking to, to Carlos Boozer. I didn't realize his sons were both 14 still. Wow. Yeah. He's like, yeah, man, they're 14. Just trying to get better, man. I'm like, yeah, I think they're going to be all right. <laughs> Thanks. I was like, you, you know, I know you're the expert, but I think they're going to be all right. <laughs> Just a hunch. <laughs> Just a hunch. I think they're going to be fine. Layup there is good underneath from the big Reed Bailey. He's going to be a great player at Davidson for Bob McKellar. Absolutely. He just fits that mold. He's been their most consistent player all weekend. Yes, yes, yes. Here's Ellis. Kick out. And Caden Bell will retreat. He's got a mismatch. We'll see if he attacks it. Saka sets him a screen. Now Buzelis is guarding him. Here's Jaquel Powell. This one's going up. Spin move. Try to get it. Was poked free. Taylor Bull Bowen pushing ahead. Buzelis. Look out below. Matas. Buzelis. This is what the people expected to see, Rod. No, absolutely. And right now, for good, better, best, they just kind of sleep at the wheel right now. Like it's a big time game. I know. Like it's just some little things. Like with Bell, like you, you got to be more disciplined. Uh, Buzelis is 6'10". You can't lob that up pass over. You have to give up a, a ball fake, bounce pass. Yeah, and, and Ducharme said this is you the whole game, and, and they're they're trying to make sure that he stays locked in. Because you know he hasn't, he he would be probably be the first to tell you that he hasn't played the way he wanted to the last few few days. Right. But, but why not end on a high note? If they go home with a win here, they'll definitely feel better about themselves. That's the roster right there. Yeah. Here's Bell. Layup, no. And a foul. <laughs> Eight, nothing to count. We'll see if Bell can get a bucket right here. I was just laughing at me, man. Oh, like, <laughs> butchering names over there. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have a clue. <laughs> oh my goodness. Huh? Here is <laughs> here is Bell at the line. That one's no good. Here's Bull Bowen, down low, Bailey, goes up, rejected oh. away. Find that. Here's Ellis, jumper, good. Right. Broderick Ellis, when, he's, when the shot's falling for him, they're a different team offensively. They're back within four. I definitely agree. Here's Bowen, back to Buzelis for three. Matas, can he cash out? No. Rebound, low walker, here he comes. Kick out, Powell, thought about it. Takes the triple anyway. No good. Here comes Taylor Bull Bowen, look out below. Oh, good hands from low walker, defensively. What? Oh. 
spin move. Bailey, kick out to Ducharme. Wow, what a shot. Trying to raise up, couldn't get it. Rebound secured, Powell. Here comes Jaquel. Raleigh kid, probably means a lot for him playing in this event. Ellis down low, Musaka, a complete lapse. 8-6 the count now. Down low, Buzelis. Oh, he had a layup. Kick out to Bull Bowen, working around Bailey. Now it's DeSante. Here's Reed Ducharme. Fall away at the elbow. Up, no good. GBV with a chance to tie or take the lead right here. Nice spin move from Powell. He's attacking. Floater up. And good. Jaquel Powell ties the game, Rod. Good. I, I like how they're settling into this game here. Quick 8 0 run to match 8 0 run from Brewster. Um, uh, it's amazing how things open up when you knock a couple shots down. Without a doubt. Kick out, Buzelis couldn't catch it, but he recovers it. He's trapped in the corner. Good na way to navigate it. Reed Bailey goes up strong. He's fouled. Pat doesn't like it. Bailey's that guy at Davidson. Like you, you see him day one oh stepping my in. Oh goodness! Having a major role there. He's the classic like elbow area high post Bob McKillop guy. Yes. Like give it, run your offense through him for a stretch. Let him make a read because he can go in and slash from that area. He can knock down that 15 footer. Like he's he is a classic Bob McKillop guy. And I'm going to be real, Bob's one of the most underrated college basketball coaches in the country. Oh yeah, absolutely. Like he he really is one of the best. Here's Boyd into the game, gives it to Ellis. Nice dump down Musaka, reverse layup, didn't get it. And here comes Bowen. He gives it up, working it around. Booz Ellis in the corner, he'll cross over and drive baseline. Kick out to Bailey, he secures it. Dangerous pass stolen by Keon Webb, here comes Keon. Weaving through, took a bump, taking his time. Keon in the middle of the floor, turnover. Poked away. GBB gets it right back. Down one. Here's Powell. All the way. He's fouled. Awkward landing, but he's all good. And Jaquel Powell's going to go to the line for two. To try to give GBB a one-point lead. And, and, and Rod, to be honest, I don't know if you watched the I know you watched the first one, but I don't know if you watched the second game yesterday with Word of God, but hello. The, the how it's been going with Brewster is the teams just hang around and they just get a lead and don't relinquish it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I watched a little bit yesterday. Uh, no, nah, it was the same thing. Just where the guys just come to you in the wave, man. Just that, that depth just wears you down over the game. Mm -hmm. I, I think that was kind of the case with Bruce. I mean, right now, Bruce, Bruce really only plays uh, seven. So, mm -hmm. you know, that's kind of been the difference right now for them. Definitely. Definitely, definitely. Jenkins into the game. And Powell's going to try to give them the lead right here. It is up and good. Jaquel Powell makes it 10-9. Here's Bruzelis, pitch ahead, trying to get it going. Bruzelis catches across the court to Jenkins. Jenkins looking to attack, finds his guy in the corner. That's Aaron Clark. Kick out Matas. He'll drive baseline, a go up, reverse. Ooh. Couldn't get the finish, but that was some razzle-dazzle right there from the Lithuanian fella. Here's Webb, turnover. Oh, wow. <laughs> kind of weird. Uncharacteristic from him. Yeah. Rifle pass from Buzelis to the corner. Jenkins back out to Matas. Matas driving, look out. He'll lay it. Oh, couldn't get the roll. He's got to try to dunk that, to be honest with you. Powell kind of put himself in a tough spot there. See if he's able to get out of it. He gives it to Asa White. Checked in from Rusaka. White turns over, a little fall away. Gets the roll. Oh, Asa White has shown a lot of growth over the last few months, Rod. I like that footwork. Oh, definitely. Put him on his hip. Yep. Got back to the middle of the floor. Baby shoulder fake. A buck. Love it. 12-9. GBB in front. Trying to keep the hoop state undefeated against Brewster this week. Be an impressive feat from these schools here. 38 seconds left in that first quarter. Kick out. Buzelis. Spots up for three. It's up. No good. Rebound secured by Keon Webb. And here he comes. Got a hold for one here. Gotta love the first quarter from GBB, Rod. Oh, absolutely. You know, got out to a slow start, 8-0 run. 
So now you bounce back here with a 12 run, 12 run run of your own. So a uh, great start for DBB. Definitely. <laughs> and, and, and now Pat's going to call a timeout and draw some things up with his guys. He's got 20 seconds to work with. Rod, what do you think they do right here? Um, you draw some up here, man. You get a look for your shooter. You, you got uh, Trey Boyd in the game. Trey Boyd's a capable shooter, knock down. He's been playing well for them since he's uh, arrived there. Try to find him a look. Or, hey, get Ace another post touch, you know? Mm -hmm. Some Get the best possible look you can to kind of build momentum going to the four, uh, second quarter. Absolutely. 12-9 the count. Team foul's not really a factor yet. It's only 3-2. to two. Uh, GBB has three. Brewster has two. And like we said, coming up after this, it'll be Simmons and young Dave Katz on the call. Uh, we got Virginia Episcopal taking on JL Chambers. And I know for a fact that Jalen Curry and Daniel Sanford are not happy with the way the game went the other night. Absolutely. And they're going to try to prove a point today. Absolutely. The events like this, you want to be able to showcase you on the big stage. And playing a consolation game, it's not the way, you, I'll be honest with you. Yeah, it's not. So Here is Webb. Get out to Ellis. Ellis takes a shot. It is up and good. They kind of took that one too quick. Yeah. Corner three. It's up. From Jenkins. Way off. Underneath. Lay up. Blocked away. They called a foul. Wow. He came down on it. Asa White commits the foul. We'll have free throws right here for Sawyer Mayhew. Excuse me if I mispronounced that. But he'll have two free throws to try to narrow the deficit in between quarters. I can tell you who you're pronouncing it better than. Well, I mean... That's not that's not a very high standard there, Rob. <laughs> Let's just be completely honest. I'd say the standard was pretty low. <laughs> right. And like I, I said, I, I, grew, I grew up watching hockey. Phil was Slovaks and Czechs and all those guys, <laughs> and so I'm pretty good with it. But you know, I'd be ashamed that you actually compare me. You know, you yeah, know like yeah, like how, how dare you? Honestly, you, you've known me for too long. I hold you know the standard I hold myself to. Free throw, no good. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, yeah, I might just drop the mic and you can hold this one down yourself if that's the case. That's <laughs> <laughs> both of them. Yeah, but they called a lane violation on Ellis. Point three seconds. You gotta be smarter than that, man. And they didn't call a lane. They called a lane violation on GBB. Or on, uh, on oh, Okay, 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 okay. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. So funny. But all right, here we go. Second quarter about to start. W what does Brewster have to do? Like, there's there's no reason that they should only score nine points in a quarter. One thing I see with Brewster is, is you don't see a, a, a leader, somebody who's out there getting the guys where they need to be. Leading the charge. Yeah, like, it's just like they're not – they're not together. Mm -hmm. It's like I don't know where they're not in their league. I haven't looked at their records, see how they've been playing so far this season. I'm not sure if they are they are they are they just beating teams off, off just off talent or or how, how are you winning games? You know, so that's just kind of you know it's kind of kind of strange to see that. I think the biggest thing we want to I think I'm sure Jason has echoed this like he just wants to see some toughness, some dog, some fight. And I feel like if Brewster, if Brewster wants to win this game, they're going to have to show that. Because you could say what you want about GBB, they have they have a good amount of talent. But Brewster, you know, talent wise, it's you know they're yeah. they're a better team on paper. Um, but we know the effort that they're going to show on a possession by possession basis, and what Brewster's showing right now is is not going to get it done. And right to your point with that, is when you allow teams like that to hang around. They They're believe in themselves. And that's kind of what's happened over the course of the last couple of days for Brewster. They've allowed teams to hang around, and, and then once the game's in the balance, they, they can't finish. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Here is Lorian Walker. Looking to get it going. Here's Ellis. Gives it to Asa White. Now it's Lorian Walker. Back to White. Kick out to Keon Webb. will go around the screen. Webb looking to attack. Kick out Boyd for three. It is up. And good. He can shoot the basketball. He can shoot it. He can really shoot it. That's a big addition for good, better, best. It is. It definitely is. Ducharme weaving through. Nice pass down low. He should have just gone right up. I don't know what he was doing. Maybe he thought the basket was up and the other way. Maybe. I don't know. Ducharme trying to create. Gives it up. 
Now to the hands of Aaron Clark, down low. Big fellow goes up, no, Ellis on the rebound. Here comes Keon Webb. 15-9 lead for GBB. Webb frazzled a little bit. Gets rid of it to Ellis, he'll step into a triple. Ellis, three, yes. He's shooting it well early, Rod. 18-9 the count. It's an 18, a 18 one run. They started the game down 8-0. 18-1 run. 18-1 right run. It's wild. Seven, 6.55 to go in the quarter. GBB is playing like the, they're playing, they're, they're playing confident. They're, they believe in themselves. Yeah. And, 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 you know, Pat and I talked about early, like, we're, we just need to get that signature win for us to break through. We've lost so many close ones. We really fumbled the bag against Winston-Salem Christian. We felt like we should have won that game. We felt like we had a good chance against National Christian, but we let it slip away. This is an opportunity for them to get that program win. And they're going to be a team that you're going to see, like I said, in February, or mid late February, they'll hit their stride. and They'll start to win a lot of basketball games that, you know, they may have lost early in the season. But, I mean, that's why you play these games, you know. You know, iron sharpens iron at the end of the day, man. You know, the ultimate goal for a team like Good Better Best is to win the Hoop State Championship. Speaking of teams in the Hoop State Championship, what about Liberty Heights Varsity? Bro. Bro. Can, can, can we start talking about him as top five in the state at this point? I mean, I, I think at, we, I think at, at collectively we, after these holiday tournaments wrap up, like in the first week of uh, next year, like, yeah, I don't, I don't see why not. They play prolific prep tonight. They got a chance to win that game, yo. Very good chance now. And, 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 and here's the thing, yo. If you're a college coach listening to this, can you offer the Simpkins twins? Oh, my goodness. Like, what's the deal? Like, I don't understand it. But anyway, that's a different conversation for a different time. We'll see Liberty Absolutely. Heights Varsity again in March at the very latest. So we don't have to worry about that. That was a goaltend that they just completely got away with. And now here comes Low Walker. He's going to go up and try to spike it. Oh, my goodness. Low Walker. Almost threw the house down. Couldn't get it though. Ducharme, you can't let him get that much space. He's making that. He is making that. Well, see, but even though he made, uh, you know, that was a great play with uh, Walker trying to get to the basket. It's a five point swing though, you know? It is. It is. Here's Boyd. He's going to step into a deep one. Trey Boyd. Yes. Jeez. Oh my goodness. Trey Boyd from the parking lot. And he gets active defensively. And we got some new guys coming in for Brewster Bazellus and Taylor Bulbo and back in the game along with Reed Bailey and DeSante Bowen. A smooth release. Definitely. I was like, he's going to yak that, isn't he? Absolutely. I can't get away with the foul. I say he fouled him there. Here's DeSante, gives it up to Ducharme. Thought about it, nice pass down low. That was just, that was not a foul. He just stood his ground. Yeah. That was good defense. Here's Ducharme with it. Fall away, never mind. Got, got himself stuck there. Here comes Boyd. Boyd all the way. The adjustment. Oh. Taylor Bull Bowman did a great job getting back. Throw it up. Bailey. There's, what are they doing? Here's Asa White. Had it ripped away. Keon Webb. Stop and pop Jimmy. Off the glass. No. Rebound going the other way. Jaquel Powell and Musaka getting ready to check in. Zealous thought about the three. He'll drive. Goes up. Lays it. Lays it not in, but gets his own rebound and puts it in himself. Honestly, Buzelis has done his job today. It's it's kind of on everybody else at this point. 4:45 to go. Oh, absolutely. They need. To, they probably still want more from him. He hasn't had the shot fall yet, but they got to get Bo Bowen going. Like yeah, you know, he, he's too big of a prospect not to, to be an impact in this game. Yep. Ellis couldn't get that one to go. He's now two for four on the day. Low Walker goes up. He's fouled. <laughs> Like we said, coming up next, VA Episcopal taking on JL Chambers. 
look at the young kids down there. Just they just love the hoops they now. <laughs> We're, at the end of the day, we're hashtag for the kids. Love the kids, man. We love the kids. For the kids, baby. For the kids. Here is Walker. Oh, no good. Did I tell you that uh, Hugo Corciani asked Carlos Boozer who his favorite son was yesterday? <laughs> no, I did not. You did not tell me that. <laughs> he interviewed Jack and said, this kid can't drink a beer till 2036. <laughs> Hilarious. Yeah. Hugo won't be with us the rest of the week, but we got some fun videos with him coming up. Down low, Bo Bowen, try to thread the needle. Here's Reed Bailey being hounded a little bit. They got to work it around. Drive, skip through the lane, hang in the air, float her up, no. Misaka saved it into the row of kids. Here comes Caden Bell. Oh, shooter, shooter, shooter. Yep, get out there. Oh, man. Boyd. Yes. Oh! <laughs> Trey Boyd. You better put a hand up. Yo. As soon as he walks to the locker room. That was the volleyball line. He just was like, oh, oh so you're not going to come out and guard me? All right, believe that. Bet, 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 bet. Listen, I love me a shooter. <laughs> it's, it's, you know, it's translatable, baby. It is. It is Every translatable. That shot is no good at the line. It's still a nine point lead for GBB over Brewster. Here is. Oh, wow. Oh, good split. Lob it up. Was, oh, was, I think he jumped from too far and caught it on the way down, but didn't try to force it up, I guess, on the way down. That would have been a miss. But Absolutely. Musaka gets it done. Timing was a little off. Good read by uh, Trey Boyd. Though. Yeah, he's, he's really. He's, he's showing himself that he's everyone that he's a prospect. A real live scholarship level, possibly division one prospect. Oh my goodness, Buzelis went down the lane and had it rejected by Musaka. Here comes GBB. Rifle pass out, Jaquel Powell in rhythm triple. No good. Rebound, Broderick Ellis. He'll rifle a pass out to Caden Bell. He'll launch one from deep. It's good. GBB is putting up hurting on Booster right now, 30 to 16. I mean, the difference in the game right now, that GBB just wants it more. They're flying around the ball. They're more active. They're sharing the ball. Everything Bruce is one shot and done. Yeah. Now you're, you're completely right. You're completely right. It's honestly like this is bonkers. This is I, – I, I figured GBB would be competitive. I didn't think they'd be doubling them up, you know, about halfway through the first or second quarter. Um, credit to Pat Cole and his guys for having a game plan ready and executing at a really high level. So we'll see how it shakes out, like we said. Here is Buzelis. He catches and he'll bring it up. Matas Buzelis gives it up. Working around. Deflected away as Steele. Just staying in the gaps. And like you said, Rod, like, these teams believe. These teams are believing in themselves, and that's like a huge factor with with what the, these by these performances have gone the way they have in these showcase games at Brewster Academy. Oh, one, one thing I, I, I say is similar with all three teams that's played against Brewster, uh, Word of God, TBS, and now GBB. The coaching staffs they put so much into these kids in terms of having that belief and the confidence that they can play with anybody in the country. Mm -hmm. And I mean, and the truth be matter, the truth of the matter is they can. Yeah. So you know. I think it's just a credit to all three staff. It just shows you the, 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 the wealth of talent that's in the state of North Carolina. Right mm -hmm. Pick out, Bull Bowen, triple. 
Yes, Taylor ball going be. from three. Has to, 30 to 19 the count. Trey Boyd bringing it up. Transfer over from Panther Creek. Here's Ellis, he'll step into a triple. It's up, no good. Rebound battled for going Brewster's way. It's a bit of a settle. Yeah. I think he, the fact that he already hit a couple from that spot was the reason he took it. Yeah. Still shooting fairly. I think he's two for five from three on the game right now. 135 left. Strong drive, lost it. Got it back though. Kick out. Corner, triple, up, good. That's a big one from Aaron Clark Brewster back with an eight. They're on a 6-0 run. Here's Bell spinning, kick out, uh-oh. Buzelis all the way, has enough space, punches it in. And Brewster, out of that timeout, has responded, Rod. Uh, absolutely. Coach Smith got his message across the guys. Show up and compete here. Great close to the half here with Brewster. Yep. Here's Musaka. He's out high with it. Gives it to Bell in the middle. He's swarmed a little bit, but he's able to hold on to it for now. And they call a foul. Here's Bell. Gets it into Asa. Boyd wants it. He gets it. He's been hounded, though. He's got to get some separation. In and out. Reversing course. He'll rifle a pass over to Jaquel. Ball fake. 35 seconds to go. wonder if they're going to hold for one here. It doesn't look like it, though. Oh, my goodness. Boyd again. Woo. Oh, <laughs> my goodness. He is spraying right now from deep. What a performance from Trey Boyd. At, at what point do you, do you put your hand up every time he catches the ball and close out? Of the uh, at what point do you try to not let him touch it? Right. This is fourth three to the half. you got to give him the Michael Hewitt treatment. Absolutely. I said Jackson Holt could be in for a Michael Hewitt type weekend. Mm. Pass to nobody, and it's a turnover. And GBB will have five seconds to add on to their lead. See, like now, I'm face guarding him. I, I, I'm not letting him get a clean look. He's just, he's just hit one from the volleyball line, so he's, he's within range as soon as he crosses half court. He's about to pull up again. Watch this. From half court. Oh, man, that's in there. No way. Oh, he missed it <laughs> at the horn. That'll do it. Rod, what do you have to say about this? 33-24, GBB in front of Bruce. Man, Coach Smith, GBB going to the locker room. And, um, and violate. Say a whole lot of cut cr words. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> definitely. Well, we'll be back with you guys in about 10 minutes. Thank you so much.
We are back, second half underway. Brewster and NCGBB, Miles Mastercola, Rob Bridgerton on the call. John Wall Holiday Invitational, who's zealous, attacking. It's been an interesting first half, Rod. It's been an interesting first half. No, absolutely. That's, that's a good start to the second half there for uh, Brewster with Bo Bo and hit another three. Mm -hmm. um, start of first half for GBB was um, Trey Boy. Just stretching the defense with his long distance shooter. Mm -hmm. um, just getting those guys out to a lead. A great first half by GBB. Mm -hmm. Looks like they can put, it, put together a full 32 minutes. Definitely. Being hound, hounded there was Caden Bell. Now it's Jaquel Powell. Looking to attack. Powell has it stripped away, but it's going to stay here. Here is Ellis to Walker. Floater up, no, he's foul. See if Low Walker can connect right here at the line. And Low is somebody that Coach Cole is very, very, very high on. Yeah. Um, a lot of ability, shifty, good size, can shoot it, athletic. Like he's definitely a, a next level prospect. Not for sure. I've had coaches ask about him a lot lately. Free what? second one's up and good. What level do you think he is? I think he's a low major division one kid, to be honest with you. I do too. I think for him it's just a matter of putting like six good months together because I know he's kind of he's never really had any major serious injuries, at least in the last few years, in the last couple years, but he's definitely battled some knickknack stuff and I think for him just staying healthy, playing consistent is the biggest thing for him. That three is up and good from DeSante Bowen Brewster, knocking some shots down early, back within five. Here's GBB. Kick out Jaquel Powell for three. For the answer, no. Musaka with the rebound underneath puts it up, no. Rebound battled for and secured by Brewster, and they're pushing here. DeSante to Taylor Bolt. Taylor Bolt squares up, launches from deep. Yes. Or no, excuse me. Bolt Bowen lays it in. There it is. 37 30 to count. And you see the energy already from early, early on the first two minutes here with Brewster. It's so much better. Yeah. They're, they're, they're playing with a much more of a purpose than they did in that first half. And now we'll see how GBB responds after getting punched in the mouth a little bit. Lead only down to three. We'll see what they're able to get. We said 6.20 to go in that third quarter. Next up, Virginia Episcopal and, uh, and JL Chambers. It'll be a good one. GBB over to Powell. Here's Caden Bell. Bell in and out, kick out low Walker. Little zone look here from Brewster. Wonder if they're gonna stay in that when Trey Boyd checks in. I was gonna say, yeah. Walker, pull up Jay Block, partial by Bull Bowen. Here's Reed Bailey, pitch ahead to DeSante Bowen. Brewster's got numbers. DeSante all the way. Oh, nice curl and finish at the basket. Brewster within one. Here they go. It's Low Walker with it. Walker around a screen. Kick out Powell. Caden Bell. See what he does. Jaquel for three. No good. Rebound. It's a battle. And it's going the other way. Brewster's got it. Download a Bailey. Kick out Bull Bowen. Extra pass. Ducharme. Triple. Looks off from here. It is. Rebound. Who's got it? Low Walker does it. Here they go. Low Walker. Weaving through. A little razzle dazzle with the handle. I have to reset now. A little baby Jordan Poole move. <laughs> He's got some Jordan Poole quality soon. There's a he turnover. Does. Here comes Buzelis all the way down the lane. Spikes it in. And Brewster gets the lead right back, 
Pull up jumper. Walker. Yes. GBB gets the lead right back. Here's DeSante with it. Little bump. I think Lil Walker wanted to offer itself. Bailey showing the ability to attack. Puts up a tough shot. No. A lot of contact there. And Ducharme fouled Powell in GBB basketball. They got reinforcements coming in. Boyd, Webb, and Asa White. What a luxury. Oh my goodness, right? <laughs> it's eight starters. Yeah. To be real. Yeah. And all and all eight played major minutes in that first half. So yeah. you're able to keep legs fresh and uh and keep everybody in line and it's just good it's good if you have a guy that doesn't have have it going. Guess what? Next man up, we're ready. Here's Webb in the middle of the floor to Asa. Back out to Powell. He thought about it. Kick out Keon Webb corner triple. Webb shot up way short. Wow. Rebound, Asa goes up, has it blocked, and jump ball is the call. <laughs> GBB's got it. Kick out, Powell. Driving, called for the foul. Three fouls early on Brewster. Just crossed that halfway mark. Pull up Jay. Oh, and one. oh my goodness. Wow. Trey Boyd is having a moment, Rod. His fourth triple of the ball game. And they're all from deep. I think it's his fifth, actually. Might be. Yeah, I think he had four the first half. Bruzelis underneath. Kicks it out. Step in triple. Up and good. The answer right back from Brewster. We got a back and forth going. Aaron Clark knocked that one down. Here he is again, Boyd, attacking, splitting. Lost it on the way up. It's going the other way. Sheesh. 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 Here comes Brewster. Pitch ahead pass to Taylor Bowl. Now it's Buzelis thought about it. Rifles a pass over. Another one for Clark. Oh. It's good. Aaron Clark again. Brewster up two. Here's Webb over to Trey Boyd. I would say they got to get out on him. He's going to try to split that again and lost it again. I think he's trying to do that too much. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pitch it. Can Clark hit a third in a row? Aaron from the corner, way off. Rebound, Bull Bowen lays it up, no good. And here's Musaka, pitch ahead, Keon Webb. Oh, look up. Oh, nice pass down low to Powell. Webb with a dime. 42 up. Here's Taylor Bull Bowen. Expressions elite kid, very, very talented in that 2023 class. Yeah, I got a chance to watch him play against uh, the CP3 team over the summer. They beat, they actually beat them in uh, who played Pete's team. Yep. Strong drive, layup, going the other way. Powell coming out. Nichols coming in. Here's Reed Bailey. Bailey driving, floating, couldn't get the finish, but he's going to go to the line for two, try to break the tie. What position do you think he's going to play at Davidson? You think he's more of a four or a five? I think he's a four. He's going to be a four. Mm -hmm. He's going to be able to stretch, he's gonna be able to stretch the floor, uh, put the ball on the floor, like you said earlier. I think he's definitely a four. Mm -hmm. Especially an A-10. Yeah. Free throw, no good. See if he can hit the second. We're all tied at 42, under two minutes to go in the quarter. And the gym, I can tell you right now, it's starting to fill up a little bit. I feel I was talking to everyone. It feels like today's going to be another chaotic day. I don't think yesterday was quite wild. I don't think it sold out at one point, but it wasn't really booming like that. Right. It was booming, but it wasn't, you know, a 1,000 people waiting outside like Monday. I think tonight it's going to be 
Oh, yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah. And like, you know, people, the, 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 the question has been all week, what time do you think I should get here? Yeah, early. <laughs> get here early. Get here early, because I don't, I think it's going to be one in, one out around four o'clock today. Yeah. Here's Boyd with it, working it around to Nichols. He'll go around the screen. Nichols stop and pop for three. Yes. Hasn't played a lot today, but he came in and having an impact. GBB back up by two. Here's Ducharme. He'll drive all the way. Nice take and drive. No good. Rebound underneath. Who's got it? Oh, it's Boyd weaving through. Boyd all the way. Going the other way. That's a bad call. He was out of control, but he wasn't set. Someone get Bill Sewell that mop. <laughs> He's sitting there completely obliv oblivious. Here is Brewster driving. Kick out. Thinking about the three. Deshaun was running around. They could have found him. Corner one is up and good. Both teams are really hitting shots right now. 46-45 the count. Kick out Boyd. He might step in and let it fly. No. Give it to Musaka. Takes a jump hook. Lays it up. No, but draws a foul. I think that was a makeup call for the charge, to be honest with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Little, little ball justice. Yeah. That one's no good for Musaka. He has one more with a chance to tie it up. 45.9 left. That one is no good. Here comes Brewster. They can hold for one here? Yeah. Well, no. They, don't, they play with a shot clock in high school, yeah. so they're going two for one. <laughs> <laughs> The proverbial two for one, the imaginary two for one. Right. Charme, stop and pop Jay. Yes. That's a smooth release. Hasn't shot it well so far today, but we know what he's capable of. A four star kid in the 2023 class. Sister's a freshman at UConn. Sister was actually coached by Ryan Bernardi as a young one oh, up, wow. in, up in Boston. They're from the same hometown, Milton, Mass. There's a saying out there Milton tough. You got to be Milton tough at all times. I think Boston's an underrated basketball city, too. Oh, no, a thousand percent. It's a basketball hockey city, to be real. You got to have tough skin to play there. Chris Herring, shut up. A bad boy. Man. Webb falls down. Timeout called by Pat Cole. One of, the, one of the best 30 for 30s I've seen. No, for real, for real. He's doing a lot of great things, man. He's doing a lot of great things. 48-45 yeah. to count. Brewster up three. GBB has the basketball. And Pat Cole's going to draw up something here after the mad scramble where Webb fell on the ball. And we'll see how it shakes out. I mean, right now, I'm, I mean, 9.7 seconds left. I'm probably looking to see if I can get Trey Boyd a clean look. Do you have him off the ball or on it? I probably have him off because I, I feel like Bruce is going to come out in the zone. So I probably have like try to reverse a little misdirection or something, see if we can get him a look on the right wing here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll see what they're able to get going here. With 9.7 left, like we said, coming up after this. J.L. Chambers, Virginia Episcopal. Steve Forbes back in the building. Told me he wasn't coming back. I guess they had a COVID cancellation. Oh, man. I'll tell you one thing what's going on right now. College coaches, they're not going to tell you this. They want players to test positive for COVID. Good point. I had a, I had a conversation with a college coach the other night. They said they want to go and do it now because they know they're good for the rest of the season. And almost every college basketball player is vaccinated. They're going to be fine. 
So it's like, all right, let's like let's like miss the first two games, and then we don't have to test till the end of the season. As oh. crazy as it sounds, oh, look that court. Well, I've almost lost it. Here he is, around a screen. Webb all the way, lays it up, nobody draws a foul. But what were you about to say, Ron? No, I mean, as crazy as it sounds, I mean, the way we're, we're kind of having to navigate through COVID, but, I mean, it, it makes sense. And the way the coach said he broke it down, he was like, we got seven kids in, in you know, in protocol. protocol right now. And he was just like, you know, part of me was like, dang, we got seven kids, we can't play. But he was like, the other part of me is like, yeah, we're good for the rest of the year. Exactly. So, exactly. And now with the new five-day thing, it's like, you know, you, you might miss one or two games. Yeah. So. Um. It's it's honest, it's just this is so weird, man. It's it, all it, so weird. It is, it is. Free throw up web gets it. Oh That's not good. Is everybody okay? Yeah, it was a camera. Oh. <laughs> and that'll do it for the third quarter. Oh, that camera. That camera. I didn't touch it. <laughs> I didn't do it. I know who did it. <laughs> is it broken? No. Nah. Oh, okay, good. It didn't. Oh, is it, are we all? Or I, I tell you what, that camera did not switch to us right there. So what? That would have been funny. That was like a GoPro action. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Getting there. I'm getting there, okay? Yes, sir. Hey, right, we're still a work of progress here at the Hoop State, man. <laughs> It's it's a fly by night op, boys. It's a fly by night op. But it looks like the camera's back. There's no other way to make it even more secure. Maybe tape, heavy tape. I got some duct tape in the car. I'm lying. That's right out. Why would I have duct tape? I mean, at the end of the day, like you can you can build a fortress with duct tape and zip ties. <laughs> this is true. You give a man uh, some duct tape and zip ties, he can make some some you know what shape. <laughs> 50, 48, 47 the count right now. Webb connected at the line at the end of the quarter. Brewster's up. That thing is still not even remotely stable. But we're gonna make do with what we got, man. We're gonna make do with what we got. I kind of gotta duck down and get the top of my head. <laughs> you picked with your haircut, try to get a full head. Oh. Yeah, for real. Drive, reverse. Wow, wow. what a finish. <clears throat> Bernardi said Milton tough. Here's Webb going around. Crosses over. Down low turnover. Here comes Brewster. Ducharme. Oh! Reed Ducharme just said, hey guys, I'm not just a shooter. I'm not just a shooter. I'm not just a shooter. Watch me get above the rim. Wow. And look at Simmons. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta get the ball. We gotta get the ball working today, man. My goodness, Ducharme for the free throw, no good. Battle for the rebound, Broderick Ellis has it. He gives it to Boyd. What a play from Ducharme for Brewster. Crossover Boyd, kick out to nobody, and it's out of bounds. Five point game. Jesus. I didn't expect that to happen right there. Nah, facts. Here's Ducharme again, in and out dribble, attacking. Thought about it, gives it out, drive, layup, no. Rebound in the hands of Jaquel. Here comes Jaquel Powell. To Ellis, Ellis, nice pass down low to Walker. Lost it, couldn't save it, and took out the row of kids. Right now things seem to come, come apart in the hands just for good, better, best. Right? It's gotta settle down, get into your offense, get your stuff going. It'll just look a little, uh, a little frazzled right now. Yeah. Still right in this game though. They got to get a stop at some point to keep it going. Here comes Brewster. Drive all the way. Lays it up. No good. Rebound. Ellis tipped it out. Did he save it? No. It's about securing the basketball, man. 
but there's no excuse for him not to secure that basketball. I agree. Here we are. Kick out. And now they'll settle it down. Now it's over to Ducharme. He thought about it. One of the things Simmons talks about at all times, being shot ready off that catch, yes. Charmay is. Yes. And that, and that does open things up for him. And so many times you see kids standing straight up when they're catching the ball. Like, you can't make a shot standing straight up. No. Unless you're Steph Curry and you're not. Yeah, or you're right under the basket. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, no, I d definitely agree there. The kick out there, stolen by Powell, user pick. Jaquel Powell all the way. Punches it in. GBB back within three. Here comes Brewster. Driving, try to raise up and finish, but he draws a foul. All the way to the uh, basket, uh, Hubei uh, Muma. Free throw. Rattles home. Oh, what are you doing? I don't know. Drive, bell, floater, no. Rebound secured by Bailey. He gives it up to DeSante Bowen. Four point lead for Brewster. We'll see if they can add to their lead right here. Next foul for GBB. Brewster was shooting a one on one. They get it into DeSante. DeSante will drive. Takes a bump, loses it, going the other way. <laughs> Here comes Caden Bell. Over to Low Walker. Kick out Powell. Three. It is up and no good. Rebound Bailey, and here comes Brewster. It's starting to get that possession by possession feel, Rod. Yeah. Down low, reverse lay. Yes. Hubei Muma. Having a nice quarter. See what Low Walker can get. Got ready to shoot. Yep. Bell launches from deep. No good. It rattles in. That's a big shot. We did that. For sure. 55-52 the count. Cross court pass. Thought about it was Clark, and now it's DeSante with it. We've seen Bruzellis and Taylor Bull Bowen on the bench for the stretch of this run for Brewster. Drive, kick, three, Clark, up, no good. Rebound, it's a battle, Ducharme had it, lost it. And Caden Bell has it, he'll bring it up, they got numbers. Five on four break, pitch ahead, low Walker. Stop and pop, Jay, Walker. Can he get the roll? No, Musaka underneath, goes up. Couldn't get the end one, but he'll go to the line for two. Yeah, that pitch in the corner was there. It was, it was definitely there. Yeah. But GBB still gets an opportunity to narrow the deficit. We'll see if Masaka can connect to the line. He's been fairly inconsistent from there so far. Let's see if he can hit this one. Yes, sir. Got it to go. And Bo Bowen and Buzellas come right back in. That's a good minute, though. You know, you took the lead with, with, with kept the lead with them on the bench mm -hmm. for the stretch run here. So 
Also, that's definitely not Steve Forbes. I'm completely. That's just some guy that looks like Steve Forbes wearing a wake. Is that the guy shirt. that we saw that said looks like Steve Forbes? I think so. And he's wearing a wake four shirt. And he's really messing me up. Like he definitely did that on purpose. <laughs> like I need to text Steve and tell him his twins here. Let him know. Ducharme, kick out. Bruce, we're trying to spread GBB out a little bit here on this possession. See what Ducharme can do. Split through DeSante Bowen. He and Powell collide, and a foul is called. And now DeSante Bowen is going to shoot a one and one. Asa White and Keon Webb coming in. That one's no good. Rebound secure. Big front end miss. GBB with a chance to tie or take the lead. Powell. Got to be patient. I was about to say, almost stepped into it. Bell around a screen. Out to Webb. He'll take the three from Shot. the wing. It's no oh. good. What's going on with him today? I don't know. He's off right now. You drive here. Puts up a tough one. Gets it to go right on cue. <laughs> you know how that goes. Yep. He ties it up. Keon Webb with a tough finish with the left. And GBB were all tied up with Brewster at 3.20 to go. Here's Taylor Bolt. Down to Charmin. He'll go up. Takes the bump. No, but he draws a foul. Ace did a good job initially getting his hand straight up, but then he came across, and that's what he got the foul for. Him. That one is no good. Deshaun may uncharacteristically missing at the line right now. Let's see if he can connect. Up and good. One point lead for Brewster. Here comes GBB. Caden Bell around a screen attacking. Knifing through. It takes hey. a bump. Lays it in. One point lead for NCGBB. Deshaunay catches, gets it over, throws ahead to Bailey. Bull Bowen, you know that's dunking in. Taylor Bull Bowen gives it right back. That was a great press break there for Brewster. That's a great press breaker. Bell side ball screen set, waiting for him. Brewster it, still in the zone. It, run your set, run your set. Mm -hmm. Middle of the floor, Asa. He's working. Lost it. He's fouled. I think here if I'm good, better, best on this possession, um, I'm probably falling back into a zone. Bruce has kind of figured out this press here, and they're, they're, they're all big and athletic. So they can kind of throw over the top of it. So mm -hmm. kind of get, I'm kind of getting back here to see if I can make them make an outside shot, you know. Mm -hmm. Here is Brewster. We're all tied up, 58 apiece. Bruzellis gives it out to DeSante Bowen. They try to swarm him. See what Buzelis does. He'll drive all the way. Puts it down low. Nice pass to Deshaun. Right oh, at the rim recovery. by Musaka. Now Walker's got it. They're pushing. Finds Caden Bell. Spot up triple from the wing. Bell's three. No good. Rebound. Musaka puts it up. No. And here comes Brewster. You love the energy. Mm -hmm. Roger Ellis at the check-in table. Here's DeSante, driving all the way. Goes up, takes the bump, lays it in, no. Rebound secured, Musaka. Here comes Keon Webb. Minute 40 left, the score's all tied at 58. Take your time, that can come out. Mm -hmm. 
No need to rush. Here's Keon Webb with it. He's got the count going now. He's got to make a move. Gets that step. Has him as a hostage. Hangs in the air. Floater, no. Rebound, it's a battle for it. He's underneath, puts it up, and in. Keon Webb with a big bucket late. Tough as nails. I'll go to war with him any day, Rod. Absolutely. Any, any day. Hey, we're on the same page with that one. Yep. Here's Buzelis driving. Nice pass. Free throw line, Jimmy, for Bailey. No. Low walker on the rebound. Here comes GBB. Pat Cole can sense this one. Here's Webb. 50 seconds left. Same thing. Yep. You got to clear him out. You got to clear out the side of it. Oh, we're fine. Okay. Mm -hmm. What I'm doing there, I'm probably clearing Caden Bell out, going to the side, and kind of running like a two man. Mm -hmm. That's a great substitution, putting more size on the floor. Mm -hmm. Smart. Rebounding. Yes. And, and you know, Ellis is, is, is a good free throw shooter, too, worst case scenario. Yes. So. That's the beauty of having a 6'7 guy that can make shots. Shot is up for Webb, gets it to go. It's a clutch one. Puts him up three. Hey, man, listen. Yeah, I, I, it, if anybody watching this game, you know, Keon Webb's had a tough game today. But these last three minutes here, he has been big time. He's been the best part on the floor on the home stretch. Mm -hmm. Calm, cool, collective. He's been in big moments before. Second one up. Good. Two big ones for GBB. 45 seconds left. I think Brewster, go, go quick here, get a quick two. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh -oh. Uh oh, went through his hands. Here comes Caden Bell. He's going to go up, try to oh, oh, punch it foul. Him. He's trying to punch it all over him. But Rizellis is forced to commit the foul. He just didn't catch the ball. That was an unforced error. And now Caden Bell's got two to add to that lead. Lavelle Moten is here in attendance. Probably great for Pat Cole. His college coach here watching as they try to close out a signature program win. Bell's free throw, good. Caden Bell at the line again. Yes. 64 58. GBB in front. Oh no. Ducharme, three, no. Rebound. Bazellus has it. He kicks out. Almost a turnover. But DeSante Bowen settles it down. He'll take a pull up triple. That looks off from here. It is. Bazellus put back. Yes, it's a four point game. And a quick timeout called by Brewster. It is NC GBB ball up four with 16 seconds to play. Right now, he's got to be strong. GBB, get, get the ball inbounds. Make your free throw. Mm -hmm. Get out of here. Definitely. Definitely. We'll see how it goes from here. 16.1 on the clock. 64 to 60 is the count. GBB on the verge of getting that program win. Brewster, if you told me coming into this week that Brewster would go 0-3 here, I'd call you a liar to your face. I'd laugh it. I'd laugh it. Yeah. I'm truly shocked by the way that this has unfolded for them. Jason Smith is one of the best coaches in America, high school, college, whatever. He's one of the best. I'm sure he's going to try to get it right. But Brewster definitely has some things to address as they look, head back to New Hampshire for the rest of their season in the NEPSAC play. But they still have a chance to get it here. They're going to apply this pressure. If they get a steal in a bucket, it's a completely different ball game. Here's Boyd on the inbound. Almost a steal going the other way. They didn't run any screens. They're just trying to get that separation. Yeah, like stack it up, four cross or something. Now it's a side out, so it's a little different, but we'll see. Bell is fouled. And now he'll go to the line for two. Because we hit that double bonus point. He's done for the day. So it's 
13.7 seconds left. So, you know, hit two free throws. Even if you give up a quick two or three with Brewster, the way the game goes, the clock still runs in high school. So, mm -hmm. take your time, go get the ball. Yep, missed free throw there. So, yeah, no, you're, you're completely right. Take yeah. your time to go get the ball. No need to rush it. Let's see if Bell can connect on this second one. They're going to bring Musaka in for Boyd. That last line of defense and a rebound to close, try to close this game out. Bell, second one, rolls in. Five point lead for GBB. And here comes Brewster, trying to get it going. Bowen, they're crowded over there. Gets it out to Buzel, so turn and fire for three. It is up and no good. High rebound, battled for. Shot is up and no good, but the horn is going to sound. NCGBB beats Brewster Academy, and the Hoop State stays undefeated against Brewster. Rod, what are your thoughts? What a performance by GBB. Coach Pat Cole gets his signature win. Trey Boyd, Keon Well, Caden Bell, Big Oscar, they all played well, man. Great win. Well, shout out to Pat Cole, man. We'll see you guys in a little bit. Dave and Simmons on the call for Episcopal and Chambers. We'll see you all then.